Uh, let's see this. Lord Gavin is never wrong. What's this? You know, the world is acknowledging you exist. The world is acknowledging all of your actions. And that's this huge part of reinforcement. And you'd have these conversations where you'd be sitting in a design review and somebody would say, that's not realistic. And you're like... He's actually a wizard now. Okay. What does that have... To, like... Explain to me why that's interesting, because in the real world, I have to write up lists of stuff I have to go to the grocery store to buy. And I've yeah. never thought to myself that realism is fun. I go play games to have fun. Fucking exactly. And so we had to come up with some notion of, of what fun was. We knew it was an ad hoc yeah. definition, and it was the degrees to which the game recognizes and mm -hmm. responded to the player's choices and actions. The point I would make is, if I go up to a wall and shoot it, it me to me it feels like the wall is ignoring me. I'm getting a narcissistic injury when the world is ignoring me. So does That's this, a, like to me, true. I was trying to convey to the user a sense of, yes, you were making choices, yeah. yes, you were progressing, which meant the game had to acknowledge that back to you. If uh -huh. you shoot at a wall, there have to be decals. If you kill a bunch of Marines, the Marines have to run away from you, right? You have to have this sense of the game acknowledging and responding. To I really love this. The, the choices and actions and progressions that you've made. Otherwise, it loses any, any sort of impact. Because like you have to an extent, right? Like there, there's like two different things, right? There's like the logic of if you shoot a bullet into a wall, it should show that the bullet was shot into the wall. But like him talking about the psychological aspect of that was really interesting. And I, I think he's completely right. He's a hundred fucking percent right. Watch the documentary. I probably should.